Stefano, thank you so much for joining us here at Empower. It's great to see you. Um, you've been talking a lot about the situation in terms of funds and taxes. What is it that you've found and what is it you're doing? Point is, you know, everybody's concerned about taxes, taxation and uh, uh, the difference between uh, yield and taxation is that you don't want to tax it. And so, uh, well, we, the, um, we created the company 15 years ago and so far, We've, we've always been specialized on double taxation, meaning that there are treaties between countries. Normally, normally it's a bilateral treaties, and uh, those treaties allow to pay a lower tax than uh, which is normally charged. And of course, it's in the interest of the countries to charge as much as possible, while uh, on the other side, uh, the interest is to pay as less as possible. And so we are definitely on the side of the investors. This is just uh, to give you the big picture. And uh, well, we started, as I said, 15 years ago. We are practically the main uh, provider for double taxation in Italy. We have clients in Switzerland, Luxembourg and so on. And we are a very a small company, but we are specialized in this. And uh, so far we, we have been pioneering uh, uh, several, uh, mm, let's say, recoveries, several claims. Okay. Our last uh, success was uh, recovering uh, the U.S. double taxation uh, on uh, indirect investments, meaning uh, vehicles like Luxembourg, uh, Ireland, uh, Switzerland, and so on. And you're talking about large sums, aren't you? Yeah, because just to give you an idea, and so far I would like to um, concentrate on Luxembourg because it's the big part. Well, every year, um, the U.S. pay to Luxembourg Fund, this is a, an official um, figure, they pay some $41 billion uh, worth of dividends to Luxembourg. And, uh, well, most of the funds, uh, they pay 30% taxation. While, if you are an investor outside Luxembourg, you should pay 15%. And the worst is for pension fund, which, well, they are eligible for zero. So they, we're talking 30%. Just to give you some figure, if it's potentially, you can save the 30%, no, excuse me, 15 to 30% of the 41 billion. So we are talking a lot of money, okay? And you can go backwards for three years, plus the current one. So just to make a calculation is 40 uh, times three is uh, 12 billion, half of it, uh, more or less you can save, so it's six billion. And uh, times four, we are talking 44, just, excuse me, 24 billions uh, recoverable. And this is just Luxembourg. So who can look at recovering that? And, and why is this not something that's happening all the time? <laughs> if they are those large sums, you know? Yeah, the point is, uh, okay, if uh, you, uh, you know that, if you pay the top rate, nobody will check on you. But if you ask for a lower rate, you will have to provide uh, justification numbers and so on and so on. So what the, uh, those vehicles uh, decided is uh, to pay top, because this way they don't have to provide the data. And so on. The point is, uh, who is going to pay the difference? <laughs> the investors. And they, the investors, normally they don't know about this. So mm, let's say that uh, they found a, a solution to avoid uh, um, all this, uh, the hassle of, uh, you know, providing data, being um, uh, to uh, say controls from the uh, national authorities, the tax authorities, and so on, especially the U.S. Because uh, the U.S. Uh, um, dividends, or at least what you can uh, recover from U.S. taxation, is more or less eight times as much as all the rest together. So it's a really a lot of money. And uh, well, this can be done not only for US, but even for Switzerland, from, for um, Germany, and a few other ones like uh, Austria, Denmark, and so on. But you know, the big issue is US. So you are stepping into that space, the, 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 the hassle area, if you like, and you're yeah. coming up with solutions. Yeah, 
just because, uh, well, as my uh, colleagues call me, I'm a dyno consultant uh, because, you know, the American taxation system has, in, has been developed in the 80s and the 90s. So that practically nobody left who know how it works. I used to work in a bank early 2000 and I developed the interfaces between that system and the European banking systems. So, well, to, to the best of my knowledge, uh, it's just myself and three, four people in the US who know how they work. And based on this, uh, we developed a, a solution, not just software, but uh, you know the full uh, procedures. We are mm, collaborating with IRS uh, and the point is we are proposing the funds, this solution, which uh, we, we give the, um, the software for free. And uh, the cost for them is just two hours of work per year to, to give us the data, nothing else. We take care of everything else. Of course, we get paid by the, uh, the investors which have to claim that money. That's the point. So Stefano, it sounds like you're coming up with some great solutions. Well, uh, the solution is, uh, let's say, it's been uh, developed uh, during the years, uh, and uh, but we have uh, uh, a client in Luxembourg, uh, and uh, we developed the solution for this client. The point is, they did uh, so far they did anything they could to avoid to put in place this solution because they are scared that uh, the um, uh, tax authorities uh, with the Charge, to find, charge them some fines. We're talking billions. In theory, we're talking billions of fines. Uh, there's a book written by a real expert uh, who says that uh, the total fine per year on uh, uh, this kind of vehicles might be in excess of $80 billion a year. So they're scared. In fact, uh, uh, we're working with IRS to say you cannot charge that kind of fine because you would kill uh, all vehicles. Uh, but uh, you could see, say something, hey, if you implement the solution within a given uh, target date, then um, we, will, we will forget about the fines. Okay? This is the, the point. But the, the, most the most difficult part is to convince those vehicles to, uh, to start implementing this. Because, uh, well, again, I'm talking about Luxembourg. They've, they have no experience in providing data, in matching, in reconciliation and stuff like this. So they're scared about that. But the problem is uh, uh, this is investor money okay, in the other countries. Just to give you some example, uh, we now have um, a Swiss insurance which can recover some 20 million per year. Uh, we, are, uh, we already have uh, um, recovered the uh, uh, we are at 7 million right now for Italian pension funds. And so, you know, it works and uh, the, um, the wave is marching, the, the tide is uh, moving. And so, uh, you know, change, even from... Change is coming. Change is coming, exactly. We are not uh, followers. We are providing change and either you are in front of the wave or you follow through then. Uh, Brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing your insights, Stefano. Great to talk to you today. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.